Got a brand new Kudazushi right in our neighborhood. Yep. Look at here's the welcoming flowers. Yeah. Best day of my life. What about you, Mega? I don't even like sushi. Oh yeah, that's right. You're just here for the gig, right? Yeah. He's here to just make a few bucks because he's a talent now. He's a talent. This is a very special video because we're being joined by The Dude's Got It and Jules in Southern California. What's up guys? This is The Dude's Got It and today we're being joined by... Hi! Jules. She's back. And this time we're going to be trying out Kurazushi. Kurazushi is originally from Japan, but we do have a couple of these in California. A couple. There's plenty There's of plenty them. actually. So let's see which one serves the better sushi. Kurazushi USA versus Kurazushi Japan. So from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. 11, 11. You got the chicken You got the chicken already? Okay. Table 39. We're here at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so we're going to have to order ourselves, which is better because it's fresh that way. And if you want to dry your hair, you just put your head underneath one of those and it's a hair dryer. Not just a sushi storage device, it's a hair dryer. Okay, we're going to make the green tea. How many scoops do you do? Like two. Two, that's perfect. And today is very special because the camera person is also wearing some of my merch. Oh, look at this. She's a foodie lover, yo. Oh my gosh. Gonna have to pay her a little bit extra today for that. That's that's pretty special. Team gets, oh, you're wearing a shirt too. Oh my gosh. Nom, nom, nom. What is, oh, that's the cat eating the purple noodles. And we got a new one here. We got a brand new one. Always take the stairs. I live by this, but you know what? There was no stairs at this restaurant, so I just kind of feel like I shouldn't be wearing this t-shirt. This shirt also comes in a more fancy color. I love this, huh? Merge plug right at the beginning of the video. This is good, right? Yeah. Don't worry about this guy. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, please support the channel by buying some merch. Thank you very much. And now, the new t-shirt. Uh, it looks better in yellow, doesn't it? Kudazushi is one of the top three sushi chains in Japan. That's right. I don't know if it's number one, two, or three, but it's in the top three for sure. And if you're in the U.S., Kudazushi has branches in the following states. California, Texas, Georgia, Illinois, and Nevada. Go, Megan, go, 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 go. What do you want? One of everything. Everything? Just the good ones. <laughs> the tuna salad? Yeah, the tuna salad. That's a favorite. Get, not get the exotic ones. Okay. So we got the slow moving belt on the bottom and when you order stuff, it's gonna come on the top belt, which is way faster. There's my favorite one right there, Chutoro. Absolutely love that fish. And this one, the salmon. If you guys aren't really familiar with sushi, haven't really ate a lot of sushi, or even if you haven't had it at all, the salmon or the tuna are the best ones to start with. Yeah, they're not as fishy as the others. And it's a pretty good sized restaurant. I don't know, what is it? 40 tables and then a solo counter. And the tables are big. The tables, you can fit six people for the tables comfortably. Looks like it's time to eat. Before we eat, we're gonna show you the show you. I'm just gonna hit them all here. I'm gonna start with uh, tuna salad. Let's, let's eat the same ones at the same time. Okay, cheers to the kuda. That is so fresh. It's really chilled. No? No. I like that a lot. Better than getting it off the belt. It's better to order it yourself. This is unagi or eel, everybody. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them you only get one piece. That's just the way they roll here. So you eat your one piece one. This is a salmon. The eel unagi is such a good one. One of my favorites. The salmon, pretty good too. I like the salmon the most. You like salmon the most? It's a pretty easy one to get started with, the salmon. Yeah. But unagi, if you like meat, because it's cooked. Let's do the uh, the cooked Debbie. All right. Now, do you eat the tail or, or not? We'll find out. If they're small like this, the tails are very soft. Yeah. Right, the big ones you want to avoid, but these definitely get some crunch in it. All right, you're next. What are we going to have? Squid. Going in. 
I think we need to give the dudes got it in Jules a chance to eat. Kura Zushi, California. I don't know, I wanna get hand rolls. See, like, we can't get these in Japan. We don't have hand rolls in Japan. I think it's $2.90 each. I remember in Japan, they were like $1.50 each at most. So you mark how many you want right here on this side, and these are all the items. Look at all the food we got. We got some carpaccios. We got some sushi, some eel sauce sushi with some mayonnaise. We got shrimp, steak. We actually didn't order that. Yeah, we actually didn't order that, but I think they gave us extra because, you know, we're shooting a video and we look cool. Rolls, you know, you're the unique, the unique rolls. We never get these in Japan. This is unique to California. And then we got the quail egg with tuna. Two hand rolls, these are pretty unique too. I don't see these a lot in Japan either. And these are some more rolls and tuna and some yellowtail. The grand total of all of this sushi, about $60. $60. So I'ma dig in. I'ma go for the shrimp. Okay, I'll go for the shrimp too. <gasps> Is it falling apart? Yeah, the rice almost like fell apart in my hand. Oh, no. oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh, that hurts a spot. Deep fried rolls. This is what California really specializes in when it comes to sushi, is the rolls. Oops. There we go. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Enjoying yourself? Mm -hmm. I've always thought it was weird that they would put cream cheese in a roll. But it actually kind of works. I never was a fan of that. Really? You don't like the cream cheese rolls? I don't know. These are the ones I really like. These are called a rainbow roll. You know, it's not quite the full Wait, I'm gonna try it with full you. rainbow, but you get the two tuna and a yellow tail. So, you know, you get two different pieces of fish. It's pretty special. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Enjoy it. Not so good. Really I don't know, I think it's weird having cream cheese. I think it's just such a weird combination. Cream cheese and rice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is weird, but I think it's I think it's different. It's like so different that it's kind of like good. I like the little, you know, the green oh onion garnish with the masago eggs and the spicy sauce. Mm. The tuna is really good. This is actually is like- Is it called a nigiri? I'm not really familiar with the terms. But nigiri is like, you know when people make the rice, they mm -hmm. do this. This is called nigiri. It means like hold the rice into place. That's why they call these ones nigiri. Because the chef does this and puts the thing on top of it. Oh, so that was nigiri. That's nigiri. And this is a, you know, this is called actually a carpaccio. But if you order sashimi in Japan, it would be this minus the sauce and these um, green peppers. So that's sashimi, this is nigiri. A lot of people get that confused. And these, this is not sashimi or nigiri. These are rolls. These are just like completely unique to California or Vegas or wherever you go in America. <laughs> this is like an American thing. Like you Western never get this. Thing. This is a Western thing. You never get this in Japan. I want to try this one, the the seared salmon with... This is a seared salmon. What's I'm not this sure is seared, what that is. This is seared salmon too. This is seared salmon with mayo on top. Mayonnaise. Here we oh go. Oh my god, I cannot. This is gonna be so creamy. Oh, it's like falling apart. Salmon and mayonnaise are like the golden combination. Like, creamy plus creamy. You can't beat that. Okay. What do you think? Pretty good? That's delicious. Delicioso. Let's check out the condiments over here. This is gonna be the pickled ginger. Yep. Gutty in Japanese. This is good stuff. Definitely good stuff to cleanse your palate between the dishes. And is there wasabi? This would be the wasabi. We get some of that as well too. I'm not sure how spicy this is gonna be because every restaurant you go, it's different. It's mixed with something else. So I'm going in for the end gallon next. I don't know what this is in English, but uh, the editor will actually put a title there. No, he won't. What is ingawa in Japanese? The general term for flatfish in hirame or kare fish. Yeah, there you go, flatfish. Do you like ingawa? 
No, you don't. Okay, well this will be for the camera person, but I'm definitely gonna have a piece. And it's got the mint leaf. What do you call that? She... She sells seashells by the seashore? <laughs> she sell. <laughs> How about a Japanese one? Hashi no hashi. Oh hashi, omote hashi do. That's pretty good. Very good, right? Get some guardi. You don't have to. Do you actually like guardi? No. <laughs> Why'd you take so much? <laughs> if you're just getting started with gutty, you only want to do just, just do one little piece. I do like that much. Because it's pretty powerful, right? Just like the shiso mint leaf. What's next, Megan? Where are we going to go? The amaebi. Okay. That's a good one. Too fishy for me. I like the cooked one better. Yeah, me too. You know, it's a bit on the fishy side. We got a close up on the shrimp. You couldn't see it before. And this comes with avocado and onions and mayo. This is a treat. If we can separate the two pieces, <laughs> that's the trick. Do you like onions or not really? Not really. Okay, then I'll take this side because it has way more onions. And do we need to show you? Camera person says we need to show you. Here we go. This looks delightful. Oh, mm. oh good. <laughs> Order like five more. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. And the avocado is really fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Who ordered the nacho? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who ordered the stinky fermented slimy beans called natto? Just I did. Just ruined the party. <laughs> I didn't know you liked natto. Really? Huh. Oh. Well, I'm gonna get a beer or something. <laughs> no. The green tea might work. The green tea works. I mean, you can't even chew it, you just have to swallow it. If you chew it, it just gets more gooey. I mean, you're better off just like knocking it back. You're still chewing yours? Yeah. Some of the worst stuff on the planet. <laughs> but that said, it's supposed to be really healthy for you as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna get into the soup next? Let's do a soup course. This is the miso shiru. Ooh. AKA miso soup. <laughs> Smells like nori? It's tofu, it's tofu in there, right? And there's some um, aosa. Oh, okay, that's the, uh, this. Yeah. It's algae. Sea algae. Yeah. Like ba baby seaweed, I guess. Right? Sea plant algae. You need some clams in it, some asadi. But Kudazushi is bargain basement prices, so. The miso itself is pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. Next up, this is called hamachi. Do we got a close up of the hamachi? Andy, I don't know, we're doing double close-ups, but you'll figure it out, right? I'm sure that we got it. <laughs> Hamachi time. Mm. Iwashi. Iwashi. So Iwashi is the next one, our sardines, and this is cooked. Which is kind of nice. You want to go right in for this while it's hot? Yeah. I'm not cooked. It's not cooked. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Oh. Pretty fishy. Yeah. It's worse than the natto. <laughs> What's up with that? Oh. I gotta go gangster. All right, do they have beer here? Maybe. Oh, oh <laughs> God. I'm out of tea. They have beer. Oh, they have beer. Okay, let's try the carpaccio. Now this, you're supposed to use your chopsticks, but, you know, me being me, itadaki mm. Yeah. Yeah. Carpaccio is all right. Yeah, that's me. 
I think the, it, the, the salmon really needs some rice to help it out. You know, it, it kind of just, all you taste is the sauce and not the salmon. Mm. What do you think? Right. Kind of underwhelming, in my opinion. This was low key expensive, too. It was like five, six bucks. Yeah, that was five dollars. Eh, I'm like, eh, that's all right. <laughs> okay, let's try the eel. The eel with cream cheese. Now, this is an American thing. I've never seen cream cheese on sushi. Mm. You just had cream cheese with sushi. Yeah. No, but like, not I have to on steal a nigiri. Some of yours, I'm sorry. But not on a nigiri. Oh. I actually don't need to put soy sauce on it. I already has eel sauce. What do you think? It's good. I'm not a big fan of eel. Really? Mm -hmm. You know what eel's like really expensive in Japan? Really? Eel's like high grade fish, man. It's like we eat that stuff for like, I don't know, when we're like celebrating something, you know, for like a special occasion. That's when eels come out. It's just such a different texture. Really? I like eel. Alright, well, let's try a different texture. Talking about different texture. What about, um, what are these? Ah, brain fart. Scallops. Right. Scallops with mayonnaise. Mm. It needs a little sweet sauce. <laughs> it does. <laughs> the mayo's not enough. Oh, fuck. I mean, oh no! Mmm. <laughs> That was pretty good. It's a very mm. like soft, soft tissue-ish like texture. I think it's like marshmallow. Oh yeah, it's like marshmallows. I thought like the salmon's usually like super creamy, in my opinion, and then the scallops are more they're fluffy. Fluffy, yeah. That's how I describe them. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Uh oh. Nah, I can do better than that. I can finish this in one bite. Mm mm. Don't. Why? It's a choking cat, yada yada yada. Oh my god. Mm. How do you enjoy food if you like just go at it in one bite? Here's how I see it. If I really like food, I would like my whole mouth full of food. But if I you love enjoy all the something, food. you would want it to last. For oh, a like good savor second. it? Yeah. Savor it? Nah, I just go for like one big bite and I'm like, this is so good. Next. That's how you know they're not romantic. What do you mean by that? <laughs> that that literally makes no sense. Not you don't want to savor the moment. You're like, okay, move on. Got it. You can get the osada, the flip. Yeah, thank you. All right. I'm gonna try out the Kuda Sushi brand beer. Cheers to you guys. Team, get some. It's kind of light, actually. I'd rather you you have some of that. It's really light. How do you, like well, mizu? It's like water, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like water. Don't like it. <laughs> Cameron Bruce is gonna have this, and I'm gonna switch back to green tea. Can you hit me? Oh, we got some meat. Oh, meat lovers, we've got some katabi beef here. Beef short rib. Green tea. Mm. Hot green tea is service here, so you don't have to pay anything for it. It's all you can drink. You like hot beer, right? It's good yeah. meat. Yeah. Beef short rib. Don't take any of mine. Not raw. Nice and cooked with the sauce on it. It smells good, right? Yeah. Mmm. Reminds me of Yoshinoya. Yeah. Beef ball. It does. <laughs> Time to gross you guys out. This is mini squids right here. Look at these bad boys. And some seasoning on top. This is gonna be some, I believe, what is that? It's on there, that. The yellow, you know what that is? Ginger. Ginger. So this comes with the ginger paste on top. And some shoyu, definitely a lot of shoyu. Oh boy. <laughs> Mini squid, everybody. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. It's better than the natto. Yeah. It's better than the sardine. Not much better, but a little bit. 
Just a little bit. You gotta swallow it quick. And this is, it's a white fish tempura. Is that right? A lot of volume. And a sauce too, I'm not sure what the sauce is. It looks like maybe an ume or plum sauce. It's <laughs> hot. It's <laughs> really hot. <laughs> As tempura should be. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm. This actually works. Works better than the, the meat, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The tempura and rice is nice. All right, next up, it's wasabi time. I've been saving the wasabi for the two total. Yep. What about you? Whatever you leave, I'm gonna put on mine. That's all you're gonna take? What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> but you can get away with putting a lot of wasabi on the fatty tuna because the fat absorbs it. And just to be safe, some of this too. And hit it hard with the show you, please. You got the show you over there? <clears throat> Camera? Hard, keep going, keep going. That's good. That's boring. <laughs> okay. I mean, you gotta have one wasabi attraction per video when you do sushi. You just have to, right? You gotta go bold once. Oh, it just tipped over. Oh, major disaster. We got a typhoon. We got a tsunami. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Here it goes. <laughs> now the rice is falling apart. We need a spoon. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, the rice is like not even sticky. I know, they make the rice, the rice is too crumbly. California Kurozushi. You gotta step up your game. You gotta get the... Look at this right, you know? You don't know what I'm talking about because you're not Japanese. You have no clue what I'm talking about. You Is don't that get how that. they roll, though? Yeah, they like... They're like... That's a different kind of roll. No, they... <laughs> 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 You've had enough sushi. <laughs> this, 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 and like this, and like this. The editor will do something about that. Um, this is the spider roll, and I specifically ordered this one because I knew they had deep fried crab in it. Okay. I've actually never tried Wait, this, but I've heard like this before. Is it like imitated crab or like No, it's like a crab? legit like crab. Like when I worked at a sushi restaurant, they would cut the crab in half, literally toss that guy into the fryer and wrap him up in one of these rolls. Wait, so in Japan, do you guys have a lot of deep fried? No. Deep fried so. sushi is not deep fried sushi is not thing. Oh my gosh, America. <laughs> America, but like we just love everything deep fried. Oh yeah, like we have like deep fried Oreos, deep fried Twinkies. I know <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I was, good. I'm thinking like we should open a restaurant where anyone can bring in anything and then we'll deep fry it for them. I mean, Business there, idea. There, sh there should ha there should be like a limitation. Like uh, imagine bring if somebody in comes in and bring brings you like a whole cake. Oh yeah, of course I'll deep fry it. it. That should be a thing. Deep fried birthday cakes should actually be a thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, did you? <laughs> I heard the crab burst. <laughs> did mm -hmm. you? Did you see the juice mm -hmm. spit out? Mm -hmm. I felt. I like. I heard that. I heard mm. that. Is it good? Mm -hmm. The eel sauce, right, with the crab. Mm. I'm telling you, deep fried stuff ain't bad. You know, it's weird to see it on sushi, but. I want another bite after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks. I feel like I have to tell you. Well, one bite each. Mm. That's good. Favorite hand roll right here. Best hand roll. It's so good. I saved it for last. All right, that wraps up our rolls. If you guys get what I mean. And honestly, I enjoyed. $60 worth of sushi. I would give this a five out of six Eric heads. 
It's great, great food. I mean, it's good, almost as good as what I could get in Japan. And I like the rolls, it's something different. I like the hand rolls because growing up, I never had it. And it's such a unique thing to have in the States is、mm-hmm. the rolls, hand rolls, and deep fried stuff. It's weird, but I think everyone should give it a try. What do you rate? What do you rate it?、Um, I'd probably give it. Four. Point five. Four point five. No halves. You can't do half you arrowheads. Can't do halves. You can't do、oh, half arrowheads. You gotta be like a. You can't be indecisive. I'll give it a five.、I、five. Just, yeah. Okay. Okay. What did you think about it? It was good. Um.、Uh, careful, kind of blow it.、Yeah. I think it looks really good. The only thing is, I wish they gave us more soy sauce, but that could be easily changed.、Yeah. Um. Just the food in general. I think it was just good. The only thing though is that the rice was just. Breaking、oh, like, yeah. apart way too much.、And、they could have. They needed to get their roll roll game on point. You know, their roll game. Their yeah, the rice was just breaking up too much. But, anyways, back to you, Eric Surf Six. Peace. Twenty. Twenty two. Twenty four. Wait, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. We're up to thirty five plates. The dessert has arrived. These are called flower dango or hana dango. Yeah, it's so gorgeous, huh? Here goes. Mmm. Mmm. Very pleasant. Sweet. I'm tasting、uh, strawberry. What about you? What flavor? Lemon. Lemon. Okay. Green tea, perhaps. Better not be wasabi. It is matcha, and then there's anko on the inside, right? The sweet red bean paste. Yeah. yeah. I like the first one better. Yeah. But pretty good, nice and chilled. It's a good dessert. So there it was, kudazushi. What did you think? I'm gonna get it four. Four. That's a no. Four out of six. And I'm gonna go math. Three out of six. I definitely prefer sushido. That's my favorite. Yeah, me too. Sushido is sushido. 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 That's my favorite. Sushi chain. That's a six for sure. And they're both about the same price, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. But this one is kind of interesting because it's international, right? Which, which I think is pretty cool. That's gonna do it for this one. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd like to thank Jules and Dudes Got It for joining us. You can check out their Instagrams down below if you like. And as always, we look forward to reading your comments. If you guys are interested in picking up some merch, we thank you for your purchases in advance. We really thank you from the bottom of my staircase. That's where we thank you from, and you're thanking them from the purple noodles. That's right, purple noodles. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Eric and Mega out. <laughs>